friend. What? Ben. What? Hey. Oh, Ben. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're not going to believe what I've just found. Oh. Oh. I was just out there having a dig, as you do, in Lassiter's, and I came across. <gasps> you know what this is, don't you? It's not. It's not the last ever copy of Hot Cargo, is it? Ah, <gasps> oh, Ben, you dirty dog. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, I don't know what that is. No, it is the video from the 2005 time capsule. No. Without further ado, I'd like to place the capsule into this hole and wish it Godspeed into the future. Oh, what, what's happened? They just put the tape in the ground. So Scott? the next time it sees mm. the light of day will Only be on good. that magical occasion 100 years from now. When the future folk of Eric will pick it up to reveal us in all our glory. You know what this means? What does it mean? You've got all of Erin's secrets from 2005 in your hands. Should we whack it on? Let's do it. I just want to take this opportunity to thank our leader, David Bishop. Dave, I just want to say, mate, kiss me. Woo! I'm at a point where I'm trying to decide what to do with my life. And I'll be the oldest guy still doing the grease monkeys dance. We're a community. We're always willing to lend each other a helping hand and to pitch in for one another. We're, uh... We're alone. Look, all future generations are watching. I can fix that. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> the last to sex tape all over again, isn't it? Or a scene out of hot car, can I? I thought he meant... Discerning beauty, not this, this, this. Pornography. This, exactly. I, I should burn it. I should, I should smash it with a hammer. Oh, take fire to it. Um, rewind it a second. <laughs> Pause it. That number twenty-four doesn't have a ceiling. It's got studio lights. <gasps> it's a bit odd. Maybe it was a bit of a <clears throat> studio. Studio sixty-nine. Oh, no, What's that? What's Sky doing that dancing for? Hi, uh, I'm Lynn Scully. Oh. How are you all out there in the future? Um, well, we're all looking forward to Christmas. I hope you are. Oh, I hope you still have Christmas. It's going to be my first ever Christmas with my real dad because we've only just gotten to know each other and well, he's, 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 um, he's dying. So, I suppose, um, I suppose it could be the, the last Christmas with him. My dream, my dream would be to have my whole family together for Christmas. My mum and Flick and Shelley and... What about Steffi? I mean, Come I on, Lynn. I'm not my wife anymore. And I, I never... Oh, look, this is silly. This is David. David, which one do you... David. Uh, hi there. My name's Isabel. I'm 27 years old. How old? How old did she say she is? I'm not an errand for a good nice. morning bread. <laughs> I moved here not long ago to see my brother. 
baby wasn't his. And I can't tell anybody I want to. I can't Mind you, this all came out of the wash years ago, didn't it? Yeah, finally to me. The last of the good citizens of Erinsborough. But I'm going to tell you something different about this little sleepy backwater. You see, this town burned me. And now it's payback. You see, I've got a plan. So if you're watching this in the year 2105, you'll know it worked like a charm. Do you think this could be the proof that sends Paul to jail? What for? Stealing a tape from a... <laughs> <laughs> no! He's made a... He's confessing to burning down Lassiter's and killing Gus Cleary, isn't he? Gosh, subtext. Subtext. <laughs> this could be... This is... This could be the end of Paul Robinson and the end of Neighbours. Oh. Time capsule tape destroys everything. So this is... This is just a theory. Just a theory. We're just throwing it out there. Maybe the time capsule is brings about the end of Neighbours. We don't know. Tune in next week when we speculate Susan being abducted by aliens.